In this video, we'll discuss grit and risk-taking. Is grit the same as taking risks? You may think that grit and risk-taking are pretty much the same things. However, is taking risks the driver of your success? While some amount of risk is usually necessary to succeed in any venture, work-related or personal, risk by itself isn't a sufficient or accurate predictor of success. This is where grit comes into the picture. As a construct, grit is deeper, more robust, and broader than simple risk-taking. It's all about your ability to do what it takes, even if that is suffering, sacrificing, struggling, and stumbling, so you can achieve your goals and ambition. The facets of grit, effort, goal meeting, learning, energy, and problem solving. Grit can predict your success in a way that risk-taking cannot. Some or all of grit's facets can predict the following. The level of your effort. The magnitude of your goals. The likely completion of your goals. Your income. Your health and well-being. Your learning capacity. Your energy level. Your ability to problem-solve. Your optimism. Grit, in short, can predict and influence virtually everything necessary for success. So, if grit is vital for success, surely all we need to do is just show more grit and grow. Well, the answer to this is yes and no. The key to success lies in the quality of the grit that you demonstrate. Bad and good grit. Successful people are mindful of the effects they have on other people even when they're striving their hardest to bring their ideas into fruition. The effect of those efforts will define whether your grit is bad or good. Bad grit means that you pursue your goals in a way that either unintentionally or intentionally has a detrimental impact on other people. Berating others, burning out your workforce, or demoralizing them is a demonstration of bad grit, even if the quest is a noble one. Good grit, on the other hand, means that you pursue your goals and ambitions in a way that ultimately will benefit others as well as yourself. People demonstrating good grit go above and beyond to help others to succeed as well as themselves. Life is filled with adversity and obstacles, and sometimes continually pounding at those obstacles isn't the best course of action. If you never quit, but the relentless pursuance of your goals has left you physically and mentally drained, and your relationships in tatters, it's clear that this is not the right kind of grit for success. People with good grit, conversely, notice that their tactics aren't working and change their approach. This is the difference between simply failing and failing but then prevailing against adversity. Good grit means you can reassess situations and take new routes whenever necessary so your goals can be achieved. Bad grit, on the other hand, is stubborn. The more good grit you can show, the more likely you are to succeed. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.